sometimes I get a good feeling, yeah. It's been 13 years since Extina herself, Miss Christina Aguilera, gave us her own high-powered rendition of Etta James's Something's Got a Hold on Me as the protagonist Ali in the opening number of the movie Burlesque. It is a movie known for being full of dancing, feathers, sparkles, drama, romance, and dare I say, scandal. But at the heart of all the frill and fancy and talented vocals is a battle over land and a thing or two that can be learned about urban planning. At its core, it is a quintessential battle between a developer with an Achilles heel for beautiful things and even more beautiful women, and Cher and her ragtag group of burlesque dancers and musicians struggle to keep their beloved lounge afloat. Which is not unlike the challenges faced by many music and cultural venues in Los Angeles, in New York, in Toronto, and beyond. And while Cher's character Tess tried to keep her lounge open on the strength of Christina's vocal cords alone, it got them pretty close, but not close enough. But you know what did save them? Air rights. And as young urban planners in the making, this clever loophole and introduction to air rights is part of why this movie stuck with us. But what are air rights? Can they be used to save declining cultural venues from financial ruin? If so, why aren't they being used to stop unwanted development? Well, in this episode, me and I will be discussing all of that and more and dive deep into what the movie Burlesque can teach us about urban planning. 